They're two of the classiest men in the sport. They're two men with unmistakable pride. They're two men with undeniable heart. They're two men who gave us one very memorable fight in 2009, and they are two men who can't wait to get back in the ring and do it just like they did again. In this case, it is as uniquely as simple as one plus one equals two. HBO sports boss Mark Tappet introduces Juan Manuel Marquez and Juan Baby Bull Diaz in a rematch of the 2009 Fight of the Year. A lot of people said, why Juan Diaz again? And I have two big reasons why Juan Diaz again. Number one, Juan Diaz is a great fighter and deserves a rematch. Number two, that people want to see this kind of fight. And 2009 was the fight of the year. And now, in 2010, maybe the fight of the year again. Our destinies are not certain, but I believe that we can shake our destinies. And for all those naysayers that believe that my destiny has been written, well, I'm gonna show them. I'm gonna show them that I will become the undisputed lightweight champion of the world one more time. Juan Manuel, if you do not get that fight with Pacquiao at 140, will you stay at 135 and would Robert Guerrero be the opponent that you'd look for? I don't know. I don't know. And, and, and I have a, a, a top fight for July. I don't know what happened uh, after the fight. After the fight because, because Juan Diaz is a great fighter. I don't know what happened. Well, if you win at 35 though, you would want to defend one more time, right? Yes. yes. Would Robert Guerrero be the guy that you believe would be the biggest challenge and the most uh, bona fide, the most warranted to fight you? I I I'm looking for the best the best fighter. I looking for maybe maybe Hatton. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. The bigger men, the bigger, bigger, bigger names. Big know? events. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you don't think Guerrero would be a big enough name to fight Juan Manuel Marquez? Yeah, the, uh, Guerrero is a very good fighter. But, but, uh, he don't have, he don't have the recognition. Yes, yes. He don't have the recognition for the people, for the for the TV, and uh, for for the pay per view. You know, and uh, I, 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 I look for the biggest names. Understood. Good luck. Thank you. Well, after uh, you beat Marquez, is <laughs> that the opponent that you're looking at? Well, right now, I don't have my eyes set on nobody else but Juan Manuel Marquez. Once, uh, once I beat Juan Manuel Marquez July 31st, I feel that I'm going to be able to take on, on anybody, whether, whether it's uh, Robert Guerrero, whether it's anybody else in the lightweight division. I believe whoever they bring, uh, that's who I'm going to fight. Well, as a champion, though, you would probably want that fight to be in your uh, home area of Houston. Actually, I I rather not I I'd rather not be in Houston. I I rather uh, and I'm glad that this fight is taking place here in Vegas because let me uh, the major reason why I wouldn't want it to be in Houston because every time a fighter comes out to Houston, uh, they always complain about the judges. They complain about the referee that they're gonna favor me because we're in Texas. So that alone right there is 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 a, a down is is a downfall for me because. You know, when, when those referees and judges go to Texas, they believe, okay, you know, we're, we're, they're going to be looking for uh, things that the other guys do doing and maybe not necessarily what I'm doing. So that's an advantage to them and a disadvantage to me. Well, if it was Robert Guerrero, would you be willing to go to California? Why not? You know, California is, is a great uh, state in which uh, uh, it has a lot of boxing fans. So... Uh, Whatever, you know, wherever wherever the fight may lead or take place or whatnot, uh, I would rather much go somewhere else besides Houston. Thank you, Juan. Thank, Thank you. you.